يا رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله ومن تبعه بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد إن شاء الله we're going to kick off uh, what we are introducing as the introduction to Somali history uh, subtitled as Scratching the Surface which means we're just trying to basically introduce the ideas around Somali history and how people study Somali history and what it means to study Somali history and, and who actually uh, brings the, 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 um, uh, the material around Somali history to the forefront, inshallah. Um, I know some of you might be accustomed to what history is. I just quickly want to ask a quick question. Anyone? Have any idea about Somali history? Yeah? Uh, it's history that's called in Somalians. Like Somalis? Yes, or Somalis. Somalis. Yeah. Yes. Okay, what does that mean? Um, the name was given by a person. What, the Somali name? Yeah. Okay, uh, what does it mean to you, Somali history? What do you think of when you hear Somali history? Um, Not sure? Okay. Anybody else? Identity. Identity? Yeah. Okay. So that helps you with identity, right? Nomadic culture. Nomadic culture, that's one aspect, but that's what people think of when you... <coughs> you think of camel, right? You think of camel, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, do you think about poetry? <coughs> a lot. No. A lot? A lot, a lot. A lot, lot of lot, yeah, depending lot. on what yeah. animal you're used to. No, 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 a lot of... A lot of... I love poetry. We from poetry. Yes, yes, yes that's that. right. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you said a lot. No, no. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. hold to so. No, that's fine. Um, so the um, the the Somali history um, has a lot of uh, connotations. It has a lot of different things. It means a lot of different things to different people. It depends on where you're from, which part of the country you live, what your background is, uh, what type of uh, family that has raised you yeah. and that sort of thing. So people actually think of about that. when they think about Somali history, they think about experience, what they what they know themselves. Or if you grew up here in the West or in countries outside of Somalia, uh, then you think of what your parents talk about whenever they talk about Somalia or back home. Uh, so these are the things that uh, a lot of us um, think about when we think about Somali history. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to study Somali history. A. How to study Somali history. Uh, who brings the material of uh, or the textbooks or how we study history to the forefront. So that means, for example, if you go to school and you study English, for example, yeah, you can't just go and study English from textbooks that are designed for Spanish speakers, right? You have to study textbooks that are related to English, English language, right? And so you learn the grammar, you learn the alphabet, you learn everything else, uh, and, and these things that are related to it. So this, these are, it's quite important to know when you're studying Somali history, who you're studying from, where you're studying from, because then otherwise it can confuse you on what these things are. So we're going to talk about that today uh, slightly more, inshallah. And if you have questions uh, in regards to this, do interrupt me, ask the questions, inshallah. And if you have comments, let's do the comments at the end, inshallah. We will do the comments at the end. But if you have a question about something that I said, I'll try to answer it. And if it's related to what I'm going to cover, I'll say we'll, 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 we'll get to that, inshallah. So as I said, uh, or maybe didn't say, my name is uh, Mohammed uh, Abdullah Aftan. I'm from Leicester. My background uh, in terms of education is not history, also my history. My background in education and training comes fr from filming and videography. So my, I, I graduated in uh, this equipment and how to film and thus I've, I've worked in that for quite a, some time, over a decade. And then I sort of phased out from that to the world of publishing and book selling because I always loved books and reading of books and I've been working there 
in that in that environment for quite some time, uh, for the past uh, decade, decade and a half or so. So I faced out to uh, basically in in the, in, the, in the world of publishing and, and, and book selling, and that's where my passion most of the time lies in, in history because I always love history. So whenever I looked at uh, even films and videography and documentaries, I always love the history aspect of it. So. Um, and specifically, the Somali history is something that's been a passion of mine. Um, and so I've decided to dig in to the Somali history, um, meet scholars, read a lot of the materials that are out there, do a lot of research and a lot of self-study. And a lot of people say, why don't you go to uh, uh, university and do a master's on, on or, or a PhD on history, on Somali history? I could do that. But I find that's a waste of my money and my time. <laughs> because at the end of the day, I, I, I really don't have time for that. But I do have time for this passion and love of mine, which is reading and researching. So that's what I do most of the time. And I find that it's quite helpful for me, alhamdulillah. And I learned this way more than I could have done in a classroom setting. So, so uh, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring to you a bit of that of what it means to study history and uh, we will uh, do that. Uh, by the way, before I forget, let's put the phones on silent, inshallah, so that we, we don't have uh, interruptions. Can you see that map, guys? Yeah. Do you see the dots in the map? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For those of you in the video, you might not be able to see it, but what, what are these dots? What do you think these dots are? Yeah. Mm, the points, the pinpoints on the African continent. On Af yeah, pinpoints. But what are these pinpoints, do you think? Whole yeah, countries. Places where Somali people live. Could be, could be. But this is what is called as East Africa. So you can see where the dots are. All the way, if you do your, if, if I circle around my finger there, that's what they call East Africa. That is a large junk size of a land. It's really humongous. If I can put it in perspective, you can fit in here, in this bit that we just sort of designated, you could fit in uh, uh, the US, entire of the United States of America. You can either fit in China, or you can actually fit in India. These are the, some of the largest countries in the world, or some of them are actually half a continent or continent. It's okay? That's massive. So when we talk about East Africa, this is literally what you are talking about. And so when you are talking about history, and people are saying in their in the, in the, in the, in, in, in the research, in their articles, in their books, and they write East Africa, and you tend to think about Somalia, Kenya, Nairobi, and Ethiopia, that's not true. That is really downplaying the, the geographical layout of what you have to think about. So, when we talk about the Somali Peninsula in East Africa, we have to first find out how big East Africa is. East Africa consists of what is known as Horn of Africa. That's where we are, Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea, and Djibouti. Those bits are what is known as the Horn of Africa. That's where we are, that's where the Somalis are. Okay, so a little bit of small space in the entirety of East Africa. Then you have the Swahili coast and the Great Lakes uh, uh, region, which is below, it, it's, it's, it's about this bit. So it's Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Mozambique, the uh, Demo Democratic Republic of Congo, or what they know as Congo, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, Malawi. That's a lot of countries that you have to think about when you think, when you, when you